Hey everybody, Pete Hafner, Certified Financial Fiduciary, here again with another short video. And this one's a, a truly, it's a fun and really amazing story. It's about a lady whose name is Ida Mae Fuller. And Ida was actually the very first recipient of Social Security. Someone had to be, right? And it was Ida Mae Fuller. And what you want to know about Ida is uh, in order to be the first recipient of Social Security, you were born a really long time ago. Ida Mae's birthday was September 6th of 1874. She was born in Ludlow, Vermont, and actually she was a classmate of former president Calvin Coolidge. So she was born, this, this is a long time ago. And she got her first social security check on January 31st of 1940. Now, what's really important for us to understand is that Ida almost never went and applied for social security. She didn't think she qualified for it. She didn't think she had paid enough into the system to merit getting any benefit out of it. And it was only because a friend of hers encouraged her to, you know, what do you got to lose? Take a walk down the street, go to the new Social Security Administration building and see if you qualify. She didn't think she was entitled to, but she took her friend's advice. And this is what happened. She found out she was eligible. Now, I want you to think about this. Of course, this is uh, this is 1940. She was paying into the system in the late 30s. But Ida May only paid in for three years. And you know how much she paid in over that three-year period? I want you to really think of a number, okay? What do you think she paid in out of her paycheck over a three-year period of time? Well, it was just about $25 over three years. $24.75 is the amount she actually paid into Social Security. So do you understand why she didn't think she might qualify? She paid in so little. Even then, that wasn't a whole lot of money. But she did qualify. She paid in what she paid in. And then Ida Mae Fuller got her first check. And you know how much her first check was for? Almost as much as what she put in over the prior three years. She got a check for $22.54. So she was almost made completely whole with that first check that she got in January of 1940. But you know what happened the next month? The next month she got another check. That's the way Social Security works, right? Once you qualify, once you claim, you start getting a check every month. And that's what happened with Ida Mae Fuller. So by the next month, she had $44, $45 she got out of Social Security, and she only paid in about $25. And then the next month, she got another check, and the month after that. And then later on, she started getting bumps up for cost of living adjustments, right? So Ida Mae Fuller did pretty well with Social Security just in the first few months. But it's even better than that for her. Social Security, the way it works, is you keep getting checks up until when? Till you die, right? And you know how long Ida Mae Fuller lived? She lived a good long life. She actually lived to be 100 years old. And over that 100 years, she just kept getting more checks from Social Security. In fact, by the time she died in 1975, Ida had taken a total of 22800 $88 out of the social security system. And she only paid in about 25. So I wish it were going to be like that for us. That is not the case. You know, it seems like things used to be simpler. It seems like retirement used to be done by others, but now you are, you are the one who's responsible. You're the one who's got to make sure your retirement works. And since we're not going to have the kind of experience with social security, Ida May Fuller had, it's really, really important that you take the time and create a written retirement plan so that you don't make costly mistakes and you get all the benefits that you're looking for. So this is the first on a number of uh, short videos we're going to do on Social Security. So please, if you haven't done it already, click the button to subscribe and the bell so you're alerted when the new videos come out. And I look forward to seeing you again in the future. Thank you.